Touting the continent's enormous economic potential, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen kicked off her 10-day trip to Africa on Friday. It's Washington's latest attempt to extend its sphere of influence in the region in the wake of the war in Ukraine. Russia's barbaric aggression against its neighbor is particularly being felt by Africa and its people. Russia's war and weaponization of food has exacerbated food insecurity and caused untold suffering. And the global economic headwinds caused by the actions of a single man, President Putin. It's the first high-profile visit of a senior U.S. official this year, but by no means the last, with the president, Vice President Kamala Harris, and other cabinet secretaries expected to visit the continent in 2023. In December, President Joe Biden hosted the U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit, the first since 2014, where he announced that the U.S. would commit 55 billion U.S. dollars to the continent over the next three years. But even as the U.S. tries to get African countries on side, on Thursday, Mali's position was clear. Its latest shipment of warplanes and helicopters from Russia arrived in Bamako, following similar deliveries in March and August last year. Ensuring the security of the Malian population is not a luxury, but a necessity. As Mali's relationship with Paris and the West soured, the junta has increasingly turned to the Kremlin to fight the country's growing jihadist insurgency.